On your side, 12 News at 4.30 on CW starts with breaking news. That local breaking news is out of New Kent County, where we're just getting pictures from the scene of a crash between a truck and an Amtrak train. The force of the train flipped the truck on its roof. Charges are pending and the crash remains under investigation. Now to a crime alert on the north side. Richmond police investigating after a man was found shot inside a car. Crews responded to 4th Avenue just before 1030 this morning. No word yet on a suspect. Turning to the weather now, this is the last dry day before rain and bitter cold moves in the weekend. First alert weather specialist Nick Russo is here with the very latest. It's going to uh, be pretty chilly, Nick. Brent, yes, it is going to be a cold weekend for us. All right, Nick, we'll see you then. Well, the winter storm is blasting through the plains and Midwest and heading towards the northeast over the weekend. It's already causing travel headaches. Camilla Bernal has the very latest for us. Frigid. Camila, thank you. Just into the newsroom now, we're learning singer R. Kelly has been dropped by his record label. There have been allegations of abuse, predatory behavior, and pedophilia against Kelly. An attorney for Kelly has said the accusations are false. In Texas, a standoff ends after a double shooting suspect is found dead. Police say 62-year-old Arthur Edgen was suspected of wounding his 31-year-old daughter and then killing his estranged wife. The shooting took place outside a church in what was believed to be a domestic dispute. We have an update to the story about a toddler who fell out of a moving car in Minnesota. The mother of the two-year-old child is now charged with child endangerment. Police say the mom faces up to one year in prison and a $3,000 fine. The toddler was strapped into the car seat, but the car seat itself was not properly buckled. Thankfully, the two-year-old was not hurt. Thousands of pro-life advocates are gathered in Washington, D.C. today for the annual March for Life. The annual march from the National Mall to the U.S. Supreme Court marks the court's decision of Roe v. Wade. Now, that decision legalized abortion throughout all nine months of pregnancy. This year's march attracted thousands of people from all over the country. Organizers say it's the largest anti-abortion event in the world. Vice President Mike Pence spoke at that rally, and he will also attend a dinner later tonight. A Richmond police officer is opening up about his hurtful past. 27-year-old Didangio Randall is a product of domestic violence. Because of it, he never met his mother and his father is serving a life sentence behind bars. He's hoping his story will help save lives. Sometimes life can throw you its hardest punch. A high school football game, you had the lights, you, you had the grass, the dust, the smell, you know. When you look up in the stands, you're like, man, I'll, if she was here, I wonder how it would be, you know? This is 27-year-old Didangio Randall. He's referring to the mother he never met. Football games, basketball games, college, you know, graduations. Hey, man, God, man, her graduated from the same college. Hey, I wish she was here, you know? We graduated from the same college. If she was here, I wonder what would she say to me now? His mother, Deborah Randall, was pregnant with him when his father shot her. She gave birth to Didangio while in a coma before she passed away. He grew up knowing his grandmother as mom. But then came that startling day. He was just 10 years old. I seen a, a news clipping um, on a VHS. So um, I looked at it, I took it to my grandma. Um, she explained to me, she said, hey man, you know, I guess it's time. They had a heartfelt conversation. But she told me in a few years, you're gonna have to go visit your father yourself, and you're gonna have to figure out why. He didn't wait a few years. He waited more than a decade until he had the courage to take that trip to the prison, where his father is now serving a life sentence. I was angry at first. For years? For years. Because I never knew, I never understood. My 25th birthday. I wanted to go speak to him. During the course of that conversation came a pivotal decision. Randall forgave his father. Because I wanted to grow self and um, work on myself. Now the Virginia Union and Virginia State graduate serves as a Richmond police officer, using his platform to be a role model. Coming back to the streets of Richmond. So I felt like I understood the culture, the communities, and I felt like I can just hands-on help out. You know, in life, I think a lot of kids and families are suffering from domestic violence now. The RPD officer just became a father himself, making the mission of preventing domestic violence even more personal. Walk away. Take that second to breathe. Walk away. 
Because generations can be impacted. Generations, you know, my son, you know, I have his great grandma, his grandma. So, you know, he has his great grandma, but he don't have his grandma. A fact that could have shattered his world. Instead, it inspired him to be better. And I learned that you can't control things in life. Although you can control how you live your life in spite of it. I really feel like I didn't lose anything. I feel like I gained. Fireworks in the courtroom over a judge's refusal to drop charges for a little girl accused of killing a six-month-old baby. We'll take you inside of that emotional hearing. And do you have these nuggets in your freezer? Up next, we're going to explain why they're now being recalled. Whoa, tempers flaring at a Wisconsin court hearing for a 10-year-old girl accused of killing a toddler. Investigators say the girl dropped six-month-old Jackson Hunter at a daycare last year. They say the boy hit his head and started crying, and the girl then panicked and stomped on his head. The girl is facing reckless homicide, meaning she must be charged as an adult. Now, her attorneys are trying to get the charge dropped. They suggested the girl was too young to know that what she was doing was wrong, but the judge didn't see it that way. If I now, the judge still ordered a competency evaluation for the girl to happen in the next 30 days. Also caught on camera this afternoon, a trio of crime-fighting horses helping deputies in Florida saddle a fleeing suspect. You can see that suspect driving his car across a lawn. He then hops a fence and begins to run through a horse pasture. Three horses spot the man and take off after him. At one point, the lead horse kicks the man, throwing him to the ground before it runs away. He ran right into the deputies as he tried to go back over the fence. The man now facing a number of criminal charges. Topping health news, flu activity remains elevated around the country. According to the CDC, the flu is still widespread and there's activity in 30 states, the same as last week. Three more pediatric flu deaths have been reported, bringing the total to 19. Between 95 and 114,000 people have been hospitalized. Medical experts say it's not too late to get your flu shot. A 12 on your side alert for parents. There's now a nationwide recall of more than 68,000 pounds of chicken nuggets. The company says the food may be contaminated with wood pieces. Purdue became aware of this situation after three consumer complaints. The gluten-free nuggets have an October 25th, 2019 expiration date. If you have those nuggets, go ahead and throw them out. In Houston, this seven-year-old girl is a cut above the rest. That's because Elijah Hernandez is already making a name for herself as a barber. Charlie Edsity has her amazing story, first at 4.30. All Elijah needs now is her license to professionally cut hair, but that's still years away. Divers off the coast of Hawaii filmed an amazing encounter with what they believe was the legendary great white shark known as Deep Blue. They actually swam with the massive predator, getting up close and even touching it. Deep Blue, a 20-foot-long female, is more than 50 years old, thought to be one of the largest great whites on Earth. They spotted her as she was eating. She then brushed against their boat. Some of them even touched her. Can you imagine that experience? That's our time at 4.30, my friends. The News at 5 starts now.